the next product up, I'm gonna have to bring it up on Amazon here, is actually from a company called Rocketbook. Now, this is kind of a cool product. I've wanted one of these for a long time and I just happened to have an opportunity to pick one up. And of course, I just like, I trimmed the edges of this to make it especially hard for me to open. But this is the box that it, or sorry, this is the bag that it comes in and it is a reusable planner. And everybody's like, okay, well, what's, what's a reusable planner? I've had planners all the time. So this is what you get very simply. It's going to come with a pen. This is uh, the Pilot Friction, F-R-I-X-I-O-N. And it's going to have this little wiping cloth. So why would you need all that wiping cloth? Well, the cool thing about it, this is, again, a monthly planner, so it's got my month. But the neat thing is, it's the last one you ever need, right? As they say, I've got tons of these, right? I've got tons of these. I get them half full. I lose them. Something happens to them. This one is a smart planner, though. So let me see if I can pull up something here that I can show you. <laughs> uh, hey, how about the run of show for today? So this is what I was writing down here. There's the Fantix screwdriver, magnetic or not, carrying case, rocket book, portable planner. This is like space balls when he like sees the thing he's supposed to talk about. Friction pen. The cool thing about this, and I have to write that down, is 140 degree disappear. The ink that comes out of this is really sneaky. This ink will disappear. This is not normal paper. It's super smooth. That's one thing you'll notice that's different about it it will disappear this ink when it hits 140 degrees. Now I haven't even opened this up yet, but one of the neat things about this wiping cloth here is that you can get it wet and you can wipe all of this text away and it's completely gone. Now, interestingly enough, I got the bark collar notes here coming up. I'm gonna grab my phone because I wanted to show you guys this. Gotta give myself a little bit more room here. So I've got my phone and I'm gonna open up the Rocketbook app. Well, I got to show it to you guys too. So let's do this. <laughs> There's my app. This is literally my phone. So as I move it around here, you're seeing it. I'm going to go ahead and hit new scan. And then I'm going to scan this page. Now it just took a picture of it. Now I've checked off one of the seven different boxes that it has along the bottom. And those are important for a reason. And these QR codes are also important for a reason. I checked off the one that has an apple. So uh, I don't need a whiteboard. I want the rocket book. <laughs> I'm going to hit next because we've scanned that. You see what it says transcribing. It is literally converting my handwritten notes into OCR, basically into text. Now, when I hit send, that's sending it to the destination I've predefined. So if you have one for work, if you've got one for home, let's take a look. I think I have a second page going on here. If you've got a business, yeah, this is the, the dash cam notes that I have for the car dash cam coming up. I'll just align this. Now it's looking for that QR code. It's even fixing the, the layout of the screen. And I'm going to hit next. And, oh, sorry, it should have picked out. I did not check the bottom of it. That's why it actually asked it. So it's saying, hey, what do you want to do with this? Which, which destination? Now you can configure all of those as individual destinations. But this is pretty slick. If I hit the one that has the apple on it and I hit next that's going off to the cloud. So why is that important? Well, coming back here to me, I can take those notes and I can go to my computer now and I'm going to show you what those notes look like. Now I'm going to bring up my Gmail. So there's my Gmail from Rocketbook and it's a run of show transcription. Now, not very accurate transcription. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see there's the case information, magnetic, precision bits, two sizes, friction pen, 40 degrees disappear, wipe onti, erase after is seconds. So not super accurate, but if you don't care about that, take a look at this. This is the PDF version of it that it saves permanently. Now you can integrate this with your Evernote, your Google Drive, or anything like that, and reuse this over and over couple things I like, a couple things I don't like. Um, I like the fact that it's reusable. That was the main reason that I bought it. I'll show you right away one of the problems that I've had with it. And if you look down here, it's going to be hard to see. But you see this that's, that's hanging out on this side of the page? It takes about 15 seconds for each page to fixate onto the page. 
So what's going to happen is as I write something here, let's see what's coming up in fifth place today. I'm going to go over my show outline. <laughs> okay. It's the fifth place is the 70 my. So I'm just writing with this pen, 70 my hard wire kit. Now, if I smear that, hopefully you guys see what just happened there. That's now smeared. So if I put my hand on it and rub on it, it's gone. It takes about 15 seconds for it to, to safely save. Now the back of the friction pen that you get with it is an eraser. And it's kind of funny because you're used to erasers leaving stuff. This doesn't leave anything. It just wipes it away clean and there's no residue or anything, which is kind of interesting. So now I can write that again. I can say hardware kit. If I do a line here and then I close it firmly and we try to go back to our run of show here. There we go. So now I have two lines. So I've got the mirror image of it. Maybe that's kind of cool. Who knows that? You also cannot write on this with a regular pen. You could, but it becomes permanent. This is the planner version. They have many other versions of this. The other thing that was not to me as you know, good was how thin. So when you go to write, like if I want to write just something down, I'm writing like this. I kind of have to hold this from bending. Now these ones have a lot firmer, you know, even with just all the pages they have, but even when I'm using them, you know, that's a lot firmer when I write, you see, this is not bending. That's one other gripe that I would have on this compared to like a traditional one. But maybe, you know, the lightweight makes up for it. Um, so that could be a really useful thing. But uh, pretty cool product. I think that there's some improvements they could make, like I said. But overall, this is the Rocketbook Everyday Planner. This is the executive size. They have a larger 8.5 by 11 version. But I like this one because it matches the size of some of the other ones that I've normally carried with me. So very cool product. We're going to keep moving right along.